going over the muscle anatomy of the shark. And we're going to start, we're going to go through the list just as it is. Um, you can see here there's a, a line here. That's the horizontal septum. You can also see that once you have taken this, the skin off. Any musculature above the horizontal septum is the epaxial musculature, and any muscle below is the hypaxial musculature. Okay, and in uh, these muscles that have repeating segments, you have myosepta, which divide the muscles, and then you have myomeres, which are the muscles themselves. These are the myosepta and the myomeres. So the very thick white part is the myosepta, and the yellowish part is the myomeres. Okay, um, you also have a line down the ventral side that is the linea alba, and it's white. Linea alba means white line. And you have two muscles on opposing sides of the pectoral fins. The muscles um, that pull the, the fin towards uh, the ventrum are the pectoral adductors. And then the ones that pull them toward the dorsal side are the pectoral abductors. Okay, um, so a big indicator for kind of how you get started is this hole here, it's called the spiracle, and just um, anterior to that is the spiraculus, okay, and then there's an another muscle right next to it, and that is the levator palato quadrati, okay, and then posterior to that, you have a bigger muscle, that's the levator hyomandibulae. Okay, all those are right next to the spiracle. Okay, and then the next muscle is the dorsal hyoid constrictor. Okay, and then at the gills, below the gills, it's the ventral hyoid constrictor. Okay, and then you have a bunch of repeating muscles over the gills the dorsal superficial branchial constrictors and then underneath are the ventral superficial branchial constrictors okay and then you have this thin kind of muscle wedged above your superficial dorsal branchial constrictors that is the cucularis and then above that dorsal to that is the epibranchial Okay, and the rest of the muscles are covering your lower jaw here. So you have a sheet of muscles that, that cover all of them. The outer sheet is the intermandibularis. And then there's another sheet under it. I didn't separate it, but just on the inside then is going to be interhyoidus. Okay, and then you have couple repeating muscles here. The coracoarchals, there's two of these right next to each other, and then they lead into the coracohyoids. There's one there. Okay, and there's another one on the other side. And then in between them is one muscle, the coracomandibularis. So coracoarchals, coracohyoids, and coracomandibularis. Or coracomandibularis.